Hey y'all, this is Casey Hope from Pizzazz Art Studio and we are going to today show you how to do a fun little quick doodle heart. We're going to be using just some paper, pencils, markers, crayons, uh, whatever simple supplies you've got. So you see here I am starting with just a simple heart. I know sometimes hearts are a little bit hard. It does not have to be perfect at all. You can get an adult to help you if you need to. After you're done with the main heart, then we're going to do another um, heart kind of inside of it. Kind of a, a border sort of right there. This one's a lot easier to do <laughs> the second time. So go ahead. You're going to do that second uh, heart inside of your first heart. Now we're doing some curves. Check this out. Just curve, 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 curve all the way around the heart. We're not touching the heart. It's on the outside. Lots of little curves. And then next up, this is just if you want to, you can add some polka dots. You don't have to do this, but I like adding in a few little polka dots just for fun. Notice that some of mine are half polka dots, some are full. Now a few little lines, just adding. Again, you don't have to do it just like this. You can do it however you want to. And once you get it like you like it, then I'm going to take one of my Crayola markers. I'm going to pick black and I'm going to just outline my pencil line. So I've done all the hard work with my pencil. I don't have to think about drawing anymore. Now I'm simply going to trace. Be careful to kind of keep your um, arm high so you don't smudge your hand through everything. We're just tracing that pencil line. You might want to put some good music on as you're creating art. Just sit around. You can do this on a full-size sheet of paper like I'm doing. You could fold a piece of paper in half and do it like a, a card. Once you do learn this little design, you can do this in a bazillion different colors. So you really can use your creativity to make this your own. After we finish up outlining this with our black marker, then you're just going to start filling in with color. Now, I've got metallic crayons and regular crayons, um, and I've got my marker. So right now with my marker, I'm going to kind of right here go in between um, every other little line. I'm going to do black, white, black, white, black, white. And if you get around to the edge and you see that it doesn't quite meet up the way it's supposed to, you can always just draw another little line um, to make the black, white pattern meet up. And again, it does not have to be black and white. You could be using your crayons at this point. I just like to kind of pull out all of my supplies and mix and match. Sometimes I use the marker. Sometimes I use the regular crayons. Sometimes I use the metallic crayons. I like having them all out so I can see. So right here you see I just kind of outline around my shape and then fill it in. That outlining around it really helps you to get a good um, kind of a clean solid lines. And let's see what color. Let's look and see our options. All right. We got this one and let's go for it with our metallic pinky color. I'm just feeling in, coloring. Sometimes if your hand gets tired, you can take a break if you need to. <laughs> um, but just go ahead. We're just filling this in. If you love doing these type of things, drawings and coloring and art, you can check out more of our drawings at um, doodlealong.com. There's a free download for you um, that you can just download a fun little booklet that shows you some other drawings. And then also over on our Facebook page at Pizzazz Art Studio, um, we've got some uh, other ideas and videos and different things that that you might like. All right, we are just about done with this. Remember, you can choose your own colors. You don't have to use the same colors that I'm using. Okay, let's see. Whoop, look, this is actually metallic. <laughs> it was just stuck in the other box. But this is another metallic, uh, metallic seaweed that I'm using here. It's a really pretty color. Notice that sometimes I color in kind of a circular motion. Sometimes when I get close to the edges, that helps me to stay in the lines. 
Now, do you always have to stay in the lines? No, you don't. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun just to be messy. But on this one, on this particular one, I'm trying to stay in the lines. But if I get out, I'm not. it's not going to be the end of the world. Y'all have heard me say that before. If you make a mistake, it is not a huge deal. You just roll with it and you turn your mistake into a little, a beautiful oops, okay? All right, let's keep looking. More colors. I'm looking for a purple. Alrighty. So now we are just going to start coloring our outer border, y'all. This is pretty, and this is just about it. There is not much more to this. We drew it, then we traced it with our marker, and now we are coloring it in with our crayons. Now, if you, you may have seen some of our techniques that we've taught before where we do the watercolor marker, or I'm sorry, the washable marker, and we turn it to watercolor. If you are going to do that technique on this, the only thing that you would need to remember is for that black, it needs to be a permanent marker. I used a washable marker because I know I wasn't going to add any water to this, but if you're ever thinking that you're going to add any watercolor to your drawing, it needs to be a black permanent marker that you um, outline your design with. And we would love to see what you do. So if you if you do any of these, please post them right here on the Crayola page because we love seeing it. We love seeing your own version of it. You might start with this drawing and do different mediums or different colors, and we want to see it. We hope that these quick little doodles show you that getting creative doesn't have to take forever. You can just start with just a few minutes and some simple supplies and have a lot of fun and use that creativity. All right, y'all, uh, that is it. I hope y'all have had fun. And again, remember to show us what you create. All right, see ya, see ya. I can face it better.